Good morning everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another gift card giving Thursday. First of all, sorry I haven't been on here this week. Um, princess, so for those of you who've been following me you know exactly who my princess is. She's one of my little fur babies. She wasn't feeling well. We weren't sure if she hurt herself outside when Anthony was hitting off the tee in the batting cage or if she hurt herself somewhere in the house. We weren't sure and we weren't exactly where, we didn't exactly know exactly where she got hurt. So I was giving her, um, actually, you know what, I have it right here, so I'll share it with you really quick. I know this has nothing to do with my project, but for those of you who have fur babies, you'd appreciate this. I gave her this for two days. I got this off of Amazon a while ago. And it's a natural formula because I love natural stuff. Um, aches and pains. Now, before when my dogs get hurt or if they're sick, I always, always see if I could just care for them myself. So I gave her this twice a day for two days, and she's better um, than where I thought she actually hurt herself. This here, let me just quickly show you since I have it on my desk here. This essential oil, um, ancient medicine. This is my Bible. I swear I, I love this. And it has a section here for dogs, um, for pets, recommended essential oils for pets. And, and I love it because at the bottom, I'm not sure if you could see it or not, but let me turn this to the side here. At the bottom here, it shows you the essential oils that are not recommended for the pets, which is a good thing, okay? Um, and then it's cool because they also have, like, um, they give you different arthritis, ble bleeding, burns, and it tells you what to do, um, you know, inject indigestion, infection, liver pain. So for the pain one, which was right here, I actually, you always want to dilute the essential oils. Like I diluted it with some coconut oil, some lavender, and I rubbed it on her leg. And I wasn't sure if she hurt her jaw. I don't know, to be honest with you, but I rubbed it anywhere I thought she was. I just wish they could talk so they could tell you. I put that on her and I kind of saw it with her and she... I kind of had to feed her because <laughs> um, she wasn't eating like the first day and I did. So today was the day she, it took her a little bit to eat, but she finally ate by herself and I was so happy and she was better. So I don't have to take her to the doctor. So thank God. So that was a good thing. So I just wanted to share that with you since I had it here um, on my craft table. I forgot to put it away. So anyways, we are doing, my team and I are doing um different idea of gift cards. So I'm using one of my oldie but goodies. This is my scallop stitched envelope. Oops, take that paper off there. Um, I'm using this and I'm also using my favorite, my new favorite baby set called Sweet Little Smile. This comes with, um, I think there's 16 stamps in here and with four coordinating dies. Okay, now while I was taking care of Princess, I went ahead and I colored these guys in. Um, so basically, here they go right here. I colored them in using my favorite um, Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. And these are all the colors I use, like the, for the the actual envelope, the envelope, the elephant, and their little cheeks. Um, I use light gray, gray brown, and for the cheeks I use pale pink. And then for her little outfit, I use light pink. And for his little outfit, I use light blue. And I love this set because, just in case, so for those of you who did order this and you don't know what these guys are for, these are the little patterns that you could put on them. So I use a little checkerboard, like that pattern for him, and then the little polka dot pattern for her, and they stamp perfectly onto their little, I call it their little whimsy. Um, and then since, let me see if I have this marker still, since these don't have eyelashes, I wanted to put eyelash on the girl, so I just use this one. It's a 01, um, it's just by Karataki. It's a, a Zig Memory System Millennium Marker, and it's just a black marker, it's pure black. And I like this, so after, basically after I colored it in, I went ahead and I drew the little eyebrows, not eyebrows, the little, um, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but I put little eyelashes on her. 
to make it look like a little girl. Um, so, okay, so I went ahead and I cut, I cut out this already um, using my die cutting machine. So we're going to go ahead and put this together, but before we put this together, let me see first. I think I am going to, let's see, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do this. Do it this way. Okay, these are going to go here. I should have stamped on here before I did the little fold. Okay, let's just unfold it for right now. I folded it on the, the actual little embossed lines there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stamp here first. I kind of want this like this. Okay. Um, and I ripped it right there. I was kind of mad at myself, but I didn't have any more of this this cardstock. And it's just like a, um, what do you call it? Vellum paper with tiny polka dots that I had been hoarding forever. Um, let me find my ink. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to stamp the stamp. This is because I know someone who's actually having a boy and a girl. They're having twins. And the stamp sentiment I'm using says, born with the buddy, what could be better? perfect for twins. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and scooch those out of the way. We're going to go, I'm crossing my fingers that the stamp's good on this vellum. I should have tested it, but it's okay. We're going to go ahead and put this right there. Hopefully that's centered enough. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so born with the buddy, what could be better? So we're going to go ahead and stamp that there. Then I'm going to stamp underneath here, oops, congratulations. So let's scooch them over. And then we're going to stamp congratulations and kind of line it up there. I don't have the proper gift card yet because I don't need this until the middle of September. So I don't have the, like I said, the proper gift card for it just yet. Um, so for now, we're just going to go ahead. But I'm trying to figure out if I should, let me kind of just wave this a little bit to get that dry. Um, what I want to do is I want to add these on here. Because this die comes with a little circle die right there. So just in case you didn't know what this is for, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. So basically, I went ahead and I just lined it up in the center because you see how there's this is I'll show you the way I did it there's seven scallops so right in the center I put it right in the center so there's three scallops on each side and I went ahead and I punched a hole there okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some little brads really quick let me see if they're here next to me um yes they are okay so we are going to get some brads. Let's see if I have any cute small ones in here. Yeah, we're gonna use silver. So this is going to go like so. So remember these old school brads. <laughs> I don't wanna do it too tight because I wanna be able to put underneath here, I'm gonna tie it together with a little twine. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. Okay, so hopefully that is Hopefully that's dried enough. I'm going to carefully put it down. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, let me see, it's going to get folded over like so. So what I'm going to do is grab this. I'm just going to kind of, I should be using like a ruler to make sure it gets perfectly measured. But on the die, let me see, let me see if, where's the, where's the die go? Okay. On the die, if I did this on plain regular cardstock, this little, it's like a little dent there, and there's a dent there. Those are the places where you want to make your holes. So, and it will pop up on regular cardstock. But being that I use this vellum, it's hard. It's hard for me to see exactly where. So, I'm gonna kind of just do like so. Uh, I think that looks about right, I think. All right, we're just gonna do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a little hole right there. And then what we need to do is grab a hole puncher. Let me see if I have one. Oh, maybe this'll work. 
Okay, let's pray this works. This is one of my Rear Memory Keepers. Oh, okay, maybe it will. So what I'm going to do since I, I what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and poke the hole here first. Oh, you know what? Actually, we don't need a long one. We just could use this one here. Okay, so I'm just going to use this hole punch right here. I'm going to punch that right there like so. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just make another little hole. I have a feeling it's crooked, but it's okay. All right, so now we're going to make the other hole right so right here. Just like so. And then all we're going to do is just use a, let me find my brad again. Where, oh, actually I didn't take it out of here. Um, here we go. Alright, so let's use the little, oopsie, the silver one again. Sorry, this video might be a little bit longer. I just had, since I had the stuff for my doggy on the board here, I wanted to share with you guys. So just in case for those of you who do have little fur babies and you treat them like your real ch children like I do, I think you would appreciate those things that I shared with you. So that's why this video is going to be a teensy bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of come from underneath here. I'm just kind of feeling for it because I can't see it very well. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to put no adhesive to hold it closed. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put the adhesive down here. So there's a little, there we go, a little score line there. So I'm going to go ahead and just, let me put some tape there. Let me find it. Um, let's see. Ooh, where did it go? Here it goes. Okay. So we're just going to use this right here. Let me move this stuff over. We're just going to use this little tape here. And if I could find the end, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to give this a little trim. And then this will actually hold it close, you know? And then this one, so basically, let's pretend I put a gift card in there. So I'll show you how this is going to close using that. Um, yeah, see, I did do it a little crooked, but it's okay. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some twine, take that tape off there. And then I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, it's going to go like this. There we go. And I'm just going to do, so I'm just going to kind of go just like so, okay. And then we're just going to go ahead and just tie a bow. And of course, I'll have the gift card, of, you know, by then. Alrighty. Let's go find out where she's registered. And that's super duper cute. Okay. And then in the back, we're going to go ahead and just adhere our cutie patootie little baby elephants. And they're so adorable. I love these guys. Okay. And I already put the little pop dots behind them already. Oops, I'm just taking that off. Put one there. And of course you don't have to use those little circles that it comes with to close it. You could go ahead and just put like a little sticker or something or even a little Velcro. Isn't that adorable? Born with the buddy, what could be better? Congratulations. And then, just like so, and you have yourself an adorable little gift card holder. Um, so that is it, everyone. Don't forget to head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what Miss Emily has for you. She has an adorable 
card, uh, gift card holder waiting there for you. So don't forget to head on over my blog to check that out. Um, and thanks so much for tuning in again. I had to take care of my baby. That's why I was not on here this week. Um, like I said, I treat my, my, my little fair babies just like I do my kids. They're my, they're my, they're my little four-legged children. Um, so anyways, um, thankfully she's feeling better now. So hopefully me sharing that little, that little doggy stuff I shared with you, uh, at the beginning of this video hopefully that'll help some of you out um so that is it everyone again thanks for tuning in have a fabulous day and i will see you all back here soon bye bye